Good morning, everyone. Can I just double check that you can hear me okay? Fantastic. Slight apology, I woke up this morning with a really croaky throat, so if my voice disappears at any point in time, it's probably not the microphone and it's probably my voice. So I will try my best to get through this. Um, I'm not sure if anyone has heard of us before. I work for a company called Glean. I do recognize a few faces from the last time I was across in the US. We have a piece of software that helps anybody who finds note-taking challenging. And this can be any age level, within education, within the workplace, wherever you have to take notes, because it's quite a hard thing to do. If you don't believe me, I challenge you to try to take some notes on this demonstration that I'm about to give. A lot of people find it hard because there is so much to try and do at once. You're trying to listen to me, hopefully look at the things that I'm showing you on the screen, think about this information, and then trying to do some comprehensive note taking at the same time. It's a hard thing to do. So that's what we've developed our software to help with. Now, I am mainly going to be just showing you the software. I'm not going to be going through a slideshow. Um, if you like what you see, or if you're interested in learning a little bit more, we do have a booth here. It's 517, and you wrote it down somewhere. Um, we are more than happy to give the likes of yourselves free access to the software to try it. Because I always think that I can stand here and show you what it does, but the best thing you can do is give it a go yourself. And we're more than happy to set you up with free accounts, no strings attached. Just come and talk to us on the stand. We'll get you set up. And if that isn't enough bribery, we also have some Cadbury's Dairy Milk chocolate there. There is short of shortage of supplies, so I predict this will be gone by lunchtime. So if you do want some, please come and see us this ASAP after this. Um, and that's all my slides that I'm going to go through. We're going to get into the software. So, in case you're wondering, by the way, this little thing on the screen is nothing to do with the software. I've just got a, a highlighter around my mouse so that you can see where I'm, I'm clicking a little bit easier. So, the first thing to mention is that you can use Glean on any device. It doesn't matter if you're a Windows, Mac, Chromebook user. We've got a mobile app for Android and iOS. You can use it anywhere. When you're on your laptop, it runs via your web browser, so you log into your account. Um, it needs to be on Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. I will not go into the technicalities of why, but it needs to be one of those two web browsers. The nice thing about it is, though, you do not have to have an active internet connection to use it, which can be very important in environments where you don't have a stable internet connection. The last thing that you want to do is to start using a piece of technology like ours in a classroom or a meeting. The internet disappears and then this stops working. You don't have to worry about that with the software. It's powered by the web browser, it's not powered by the internet. What I want to do is just show you the standard way in which people use this. So I'm going to show you the essential functionality. Hopefully, you'll then feel confident enough to go and ask for a free account and give this a go yourself. It's really the idea of my demo here. So we're going to take the scenario of you attending a class um, and show you how you would use the software. So I'm already logged in. I would go and create myself a new event. And then I would give this a name. So we're all going to pretend we are students in a physics class. Don't worry, I'm not going to ask you any questions about physics. We'll give this the name physics through... 1.21. There we go. So, what happens is the class starts and then we start recording. So, I hit the record button and then I just need to decide where do I want to record the audio from. Now, this is quite important because we're not all learning in face to face environments these days. We're learning online via Zoom calls and Microsoft Teams is used in the UK a lot. Lots of different platforms. So you can just choose whether you want to record from your microphone or if you're on a webinar, record from your screen audio instead. It's entirely up to you where you capture the sound from. I'm obviously in the same room as my computer, so we're going to choose the microphone option for this demo. So as soon as we start recording, Glean captures everything that's said and it visualizes it on screen. So those gray chunks of, that you see appear there, it's just a visualization of the audio. 
The whole purpose of recording is really to free you up. Because if you're recording everything that I'm saying now, you now don't have to worry about trying to scribble everything down. You can focus more on listening and trying to comprehend what's, what's been taught. But Glean's not just about recording the audio. Because if you sat in an hour-long class or a meeting and you just recorded an hour of somebody talking, that's going to be quite a, a tedious thing to go back through afterwards. Because no one's going to want to listen back to every single minute. You want to go back to the things that were important, the, 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 the tasks that were discussed that involved you, the things that maybe you didn't understand. So what we do with Glean is we tag the information we want to go back to. And we do that live in the moment. And it's very, very simple to do this. So let's say right now I said something and you thought, that's really important. I might want to listen back to that later on. Well, you want to tag that. And you can do that either using text, just by typing, or by using a labeling system we have in here. So I'll start typing first of all. So if I just type key point, you can see that's it at the bottom there. Press enter and I post it onto my notes feed. So this is why my notes appear. But really importantly, this little text note that I just typed is linked to a moment in time in that audio. And this allows me to be incredibly brief with note taking. I don't need to write the detail because I'm recording the detail. I just need a way of getting back to that quickly after the event. So when I'm using this, I stick to one or two keywords. If you don't want to use text though, you don't have to. Some people will find any kind of writing or typing while they're trying to listen to be a distraction or an impossibility for whatever reason. So we have this labeling system you can use as well. So these labels across the bottom are nice and straightforward. If I said something important, you could just click and hold the important label. It does the same thing. It tags a moment in time in your audio and links you directly to it. So we've got things for important issues, if you want to review something later. I don't have time to show you all of these. We have a nice um, a task as well, so you can assign tasks to yourself and put due dates on it. And also, the heading is quite nice. I use this in our internal meetings when we're going through different agenda points, etc. You can put a heading in there, puts a heading in your notes, and breaks up your audio as well. So what I like to think of this as is, I'm not trying to do all of my note taking live in the moment. I'm capturing all the information, and I'm just tagging moments to make it easier for me to go and review it afterwards. This is more of an outline of my notes. Now, you can use it just like this. This is how I use it. But a lot of our users are, are using it in, in, in classroom environments where you might also have additional information like presentation slides. So you can also import presentation slides into here as well. And you can do that at any time. Ideally, you would import those slides before you start recording, but you can do it during the process. You can do it afterwards. I'm just going to quickly import some now. So I have some slides on physics, unsurprisingly, on time travel. The slides can be in PDF format or PowerPoint format, whichever you have them in. And when you've imported the slides, they just sit here at the side ready for you to use. And the idea is that if you want to add a slide to your notes, you can do. So you've got a nice big post slide button. You can navigate through these slides using the forward and back arrows. And if you want to include them in here, just click on post slide and it pops it straight into your notes. So you don't have to use them. It depends on the environment you're using them in. But it means that you can combine all of the audio you're recording, all of the handouts that you're getting and incorporate them in your notes. So it's really straightforward. You can pick this up pretty quickly. There's not much else I'd need to show you about using this live in the moment. So I'm just going to stop that there. What I do want to show you, though, quickly, is that I've been doing this on my computer. If you do not have your computer with you, I don't see many laptops in front of you, you can also do this on your mobile phone. So hopefully you're seeing my iPhone here. Hopefully this should be in sync. So you can do it on here as well. I'm not going to explain. I'm just going to very quickly show you the same functionality on here. So you can go and start your recording. We'll just call this one mobile. So it's a little bit different. It looks different, obviously, on your phone. You've got a lot less space to work with, but the principles are still the same. We're recording the audio. We can tag it using text or labels. So let me put a quick text note in. 
we'll do an important label, we'll do a heading label. I guess the one difference about using your mobile phone is that you have the added benefit of having a camera. So if you don't have any slides, like you didn't have access to my slides before, I saw somebody in the previous presentation taking a picture of what was on the screen, you can do that. And obviously it will link in with the audio you're recording. So I'm gonna take a quick picture. I'm not gonna take a picture of you guys, don't worry. I'm not gonna use this. I'll turn around and take one of my screen instead. Not the best angle, but you get the idea. Use that photo and then it pops it straight into your notes. So it doesn't matter what device you've got, you can follow the same technique. I'm just gonna stop the recording on my mobile device there. And one last thing to point out is that although I can do all of this without being online, one of the advantages of, of being online is that everything syncs up to your cloud account as well. Now this is quite neat because it means that whatever you do on one device will now appear on the other one. So this is where I hope the internet here is working. Fingers crossed. If I go back to my laptop now, and there we go, refresh this, you can see what I just recorded on my phone a couple of seconds ago is now available to view on here. Hopefully it won't take long to download it. There we go. So what you recorded on your phone, you can then listen back to on your computer. No fiddly transferring files across or cables or anything like that. It just does it for you automatically. This is the, the first stage of using the software though. So what I've shown you so far is how you can capture the information and how you can tag it so you can make a little bit more sense of it. You still need to go back through it afterwards and convert it into a set of notes though. So you need to go and review it. But this process is now much easier than just sitting and listening back to a big audio file. So I'm going to bring in one of our demo events just to show you this. So this is a one we prepared earlier type of file. So a lot more audio we've recorded in here. You can see I've got some more detailed notes and some slides. Now the great thing now is that I don't have to listen back to all of this. I can just go straight back to the points that matter to me. So if I hover over any one of these entries, you can see I've got a little play button. Now I tested this before and it's not gonna work. Um, you're not gonna hear this when I press play because it's gonna come out of my computer and because of all the background noise, you're not gonna hear it. But the idea would be, say I wanted to play this assignment back, obviously that's important. I would click on play, it'll play that specific section of audio back. The first assignment on this course, I don't know if you can hear that, I can hear it quite loudly. And now that you're doing this in your own time afterwards, you can listen back to this as many times as you need, as much detail as you want, and then you go in here and edit this note and add out the details of whatever your assignment is. It is pretty straightforward. There's nothing massively complicated about using this. It's really like where we're scaffolding the note-taking process. Another thing that a lot of people like though, and something we've added pretty recently, is that you now have the ability to transcribe your audio as well. So you might notice here, we have an audio tab, which is the standard view, but you can also toggle into the text tab as well. So you can transcribe your audio afterwards, and it just gives you a different option when you're listening back to it. So if I just toggle into the text mode now, and then I go and play something else back. So I made a note about the film Interstellar. Everyone seen Interstellar? One of my favorite films, one hand going up, Shaking heads, nods, good film. Anyway, I'm not here to promote the film. Um, so if I wanted to play this section back, now that I'm in the text mode and I hit play, you'll not only hear it, but you'll be able to see the transcript. And it follows the line of text along on the transcript as well, so that you can you know, stay on the line of text a bit easier. I'll play that back, so hopefully you'll be able to, to see it. You might not be able to hear it, but you'll and be able to see it. That thanks to Kip Thorne's involvement, Interstellar is considered by far the most scientifically accurate time travel film to date. So it gives you an additional option during playback. Some people like that, some people don't. Some of the, a lot of the challenges of, with the people that we work with is they don't like or find it difficult to read text. So some people just like to listen to the audio, but it gives you that option. The other thing that I quite like about having the transcript though is, ideally notes should be your own words, your own interpretation. You know, it's, that, that's what they should be. But sometimes you look at the transcript and just think, I just want to grab what they said. 
and, and put it in my own notes. So that's nice and easy with Glean. If there's a section of the transcript you want, you can just highlight it, click on post, and it'll copy it straight over from the transcript into your own notes. So you can selectively grab parts of the information that you need. You can also do that with the slides, funnily enough. Um, a lot of the time there are a lot of useful information on slides. So I've just scrolled to my last slide here and I will forever see people scribbling information down and copying text from slides. Well, what you can do with Clean, we've got a nice button here which allows you to grab all of the text that's in the slide and put it immediately into your own notes. So it allows you to grab info and not have to go through the process of, of writing it all out unnecessarily. Now, once you've been through all of this process, hopefully you'll turn your basic recording into a file that looks maybe a little bit more like this. So this would be your finished set of notes. And for a lot of people, me included, I don't want to actually read my notes again. When I do this in meetings, because I'm not revising for exams these days, um, the benefit for me is the process this takes me through. Because it means that when I'm sat in a, in a meeting or a training session in work, I'm fully concentrating on what's said. So I understand the information a little bit better live in the moment. But then it encourages me to go back afterwards and review the important parts. And then it encourages me to write those things up in my words. And that just helps me to learn because I'm actively working with the information. Now, I always say that I could hand someone a complete set of notes. I don't know why I'm looking at you, sorry. But it doesn't mean you've learned anything. But if you've been through the process of creating them things yourself, you're far more likely to have learned the information. This all being said, notes can be very useful for students when it comes to exam time. You're revising for something, you've got an essay to do. So you can go back in here at any time and review them. When you're reviewing them, we've got a mode in here called our reading view, which just simplifies it. Because by this time, the audio has generally served its purpose. You've used the audio to write your notes up. So this will display it as more of a traditional set of notes. If you want to get it out of Glean, you can do though. Some people like to print it, which you can, of course. What I tend to do is to put everything into Google Docs. I'm a Google Docs user. So I will copy everything, open up a blank Google document. This, you could do this in a Word document or, or wherever it might be. Paste my information in there. And then this ends up being my kind of final resting place for my notes. You don't have to do that. Everything can stay within Glean if you want it to. And that's really all you need to know about the essentials of using the software. There's obviously a few other things that you can do with this, but it's designed to be easy to use. Um, and I would very much encourage you, I don't know if anyone's got access to this already, but I'm sure you all are in environments where you may need to take notes. I mean, you're all sat here now watching a presentation. So it's something that hopefully you can put into practice and you'll see, see how good it is. We like to think that the software kind of use it just use it and you'll see how useful it can be if you do have any questions we're obviously here for the rest of the week come and talk to us at the booth and as a reminder chocolate will be gone soon so do it sooner rather than later thank you everyone hope you found that useful